Yes. Galaxy 107FM. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107FM. And believe me, over the last year, and believe me, it has been a fantastic year this year. Even though, keeping in mind, we had the uh, COVID-19. And of course, today's show is brought to you by the letters C-O-V-I-D and the numbers 1 and 9. We met up with an absolute power of a team. We really, really did. We met up with Gear. We met up with Tim. We introduced each other to, to each other. And, well, what do you know? Uh, we had some colourful language. You know, stuff from Gear that you wouldn't expect from a man of his age. But he kept on saying, you know, it's just one of those things he kept on doing. He really did. Uh, and on not only national radio, but international radio. Uh, can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Thank you. Uh, and you know something? The best thing about this is we met and put together a Christmas song. Now, let me do this. Good morning from us. Good evening over there to Tim and to Gear and also to uh, Lady White. It is an absolute pleasure. Love and the glasses there, Miss White. It's Christmas, Fuzzer. Yeah, absolutely. I get it. I love it. I really, really do. Uh, they just need to be a little rose-coloured. Yeah, they are uh, sparkly. And I think they have uh, some snowmen and stuff. Just for you and Tim and Barbara and Guy tonight, I'm wearing this one. Yeah. And to all your other watches, of course. You know, um, <laughs> it, it is very rare that we absolutely all get together, and each of the each of us are all wearing the same bloody hat. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is the only time of the year you could get away with this one. It really, really is. And, and guys, when we got together not so long ago. We've come up with something that I think is absolutely timeless. It is worth its weight in gold. Why don't you tell our listeners right now all about Christmas in the North? Well, I'll start. I'll start. I mean, I'll start. I remember, I remember, like, when we met you guys. So, like, it'll be, we're, like, one week, a year and one week since we all met together, Okay. And that it just started this amazing friendship. And we would get together pretty well every weekend, even though we're in different time zones all over the place. We'd get together and we would drink. Oh, yeah. And we would smoke. Yeah. And we would drink. And I remember one of those nights, one of those nights, it was like, I didn't even know what time it was. But I hear somebody yelling, Tim, Tim, Tim. And I was probably here like this. Because it was like five or six in the morning. And it was gear waking me up. And I was like, whoa, whoa, what, what, what? Tim, we need to do a Christmas song. I was like, what? I said, what would it be called, gear? As I came out of my... As I came out of my stupor, and he goes, "In called Christmas in the North." Yeah. And not, and not only just a few days later, the whole sketch for the song was already there. We had a vision for it. It was like Kai needed to sing on this thing, and it just, it just came together in such a big way. And I mean, we gear. I mean, I'll, I'll let you take over here, but we, we had a plan actually to all get together in Norway this summer and, and, and film a video for the song. Uh, yeah. Also the plan, also this summer, I think it will be next summer. Uh, in Norway, they have started giving grand, green light to uh, go on tour here in Norway. And we will be playing on the big festival and that stuff. And um, I will get married next summer. Yes. In July. 10th of July, and the best man of course, Tim Graham, and Barbara for for my wife, my girlfriend, his wife, and we will play on this big festival, uh, the Midnight Rock, and Midnight and the Mighty One will be there too, and Kai Zombie, 
So we will do Christmas in the north in July. In July. Two in July. <laughs> yeah. On stage. Yes. That is absolutely fantastic, guys, and believe me, uh, I want to be there. I really want to be there as well. I mean, let's give it a big one of these, really. Uh, so without further ado, uh, and I really, really am very, very happy to be able to do this. So. You're listening to Go See It in 107 FM and New Zealand introducing from Canada, uh, the mighty one and from Norway, Viking Queen. And I'm proud to debut their Christmas song, Christmas in the North, featuring Kai Zombie. Turn it out! Maybe you don't mind, guys, but I sort of robbed that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, um, I should, have, I should have actually sent you the whole audio clip of that so you didn't have to steal it off the video, but that's cool. Yeah, it's all good. Um, so, from us here, cheers, celebrate its festive season, let's have some fun. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. let the celebration begin. <laughs> Here. Ah. I know what's Merry missing. Merry Christmas, everyone that's joined us. Absolutely. Yes, For you guys um, that have joined us today, this is a very special day because I've got to be honest with you, there's no bosses around today. They've let the inmates rule the place. Yeah, Literally. And, uh, I love the collaboration between all of us, how we met and we've made this great song. Hey Brad! Hey Brad! Yes sir! I'm getting some deja vu. Are you? I'm, I'm getting some deja vu, yeah. I'm getting some deja vu of last year. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, we did kick this off last year with a challenge, I says to you, can we do, of course, the Charleston, remember, and uh, the Charleston was a dance, but it had its own distinctive music, and I'm sitting there thinking, you know, this would be a damn good hook if you threw it into yeah. a song. Yeah, definitely, and they did. No, well, they couldn't, they, they uh, didn't even, they, did <laughs> they didn't even they, look they did at it. <laughs> Yes, well, the, the heavy, the heavy metal, the heavy metal in Charleston is still coming, my friend. Okay. It's still in development. It's still okay. in development. I am awesome. so into that. I mean, it'll be 101 years next year. I don't think you're going to have a problem with copyright. No. You know what I mean? So true. So true. Hey, Tuna, what is what is that? What is that? Is that all the lights behind you? You have like a little house back there, or what? Nativity scene? Is it nativity? Can you see? Oh yeah. No, I'm the, I'm talking on the windowsill. Uh, oh. I like that though too. Oh. Yeah, that's um. Uh, is that a classic. oh, it's candle. Yeah, uh, it's the, the classic uh, Advent. Uh, yeah, yeah. Advent. Oh, okay, the particular Yeah, Advent. Oh. Yeah, I love it. And uh, this little guy. Oh. He's awesome, so. Oh, yeah, he's I like that. I'm a rock and roll elf. <laughs> Can you just hold that for a minute? Can I just hold that yourself? for a minute? Yeah, just on myself? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I feel sorry Cheryl, for anybody that's watching. Hello, Cheryl. Hello. Hey, um, Tim. Do you even have the Christmas tree up? Oh, 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 it's fucking good. Looking good. Oh, yeah, good. beautiful. Oh, and you know beautiful. something else? Tim, do you remember we baked cookies? Yeah, you hung them on the tree. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. 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 Hey, Gee. Tim. Hey, Tim. Guy did that one. Yeah, that's awesome. Great job. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Did you hear about Jesus at his last supper? Hi, Jake no. Evans. Yeah, he was hanging out with his homies, you know, the 12 wise guys, Hi, right? Merry Christmas, Jake. And he says, come on, guys, drink up and be merry because tomorrow Judas has taken me to see Nine Inch Nails. Can you just hold that for a sec? <laughs> hold that for a sec. 
Just for a second, I can't. I, uh, Right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and well, I'm joined not only by the masterminds behind Christmas in the North, uh, but of course, uh, uh, we're, we're also joined by Miss White, and, and it's always nice to catch up with Miss White. Uh, she's been showing us her baking, yet she does a lot of these um, cookies, and I can't wait. You, you're gonna have to pack some and, and send some over to me, will you? Yeah. It's uh, hold in the in the in the mail. Uh, of course, I can bake you a big cookie. Nice. I think we will do an experiment and see if that's possible. Well, I don't see why not. To be very very honest with you, uh, a little while ago, and I'm going to be straight up here. One of the weirdest things I got this year through the mail was a voodoo doll. What? <laughs> I'm a I remember seeing that. I remember seeing that. I mean, that's one of the most <laughs> random things you could ever get in the mail, don't you think? <laughs> so, so what did what did what did you do with it? Okay, I it I donated it to Barbara's uh, doll hospital home refuge yeah, yeah, um, uh, her collection. I have, I've got a collection, yeah. but not a uh, voodoo doll. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you, awesome. So it's in it's in Barbara's collection. Yeah, it is kind of. You see, dolls kind of freak me out. They don't they? <laughs> you know, them and clown, I don't like dolls or clowns or mannequins. No, you shot okay. a mannequin no. once. They you know, are creepy. Yeah, exactly. They you really can one, be yeah. quite creepy. I mean, you have a look at some of these old, uh, very, very collectible dolls. My God, what were the parents thinking giving those to children? I know, dolls with the blinky eyes. Yeah. Those are the worst. Exactly, and then you I get some that, nah, and it's like, whoa. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that to your child, really? Seriously. <laughs> it really is. Uh, and some of the, just look. I mean, you have a look at some of those old French dolls, you know what I mean? Those ones way back in the day. Hell, I would be having nightmares every night, that thing <laughs> sitting there looking at me. It would be, No. No thanks. Yeah. Well, you know, I tell you what, hey, you hey, won't Grant, be visiting you, my you would, you would love this. Actually, you wouldn't love this because you don't like the doll. But my wife takes takes actual, like for Halloween and stuff like that, she takes ha actual, like, dolls. Like just yeah. regular dolls, Barbies and little babies and stuff. And she makes them all. Easy. What? Oh, well, I, think I, would be, I would totally freak out. Yeah, yeah, do you, do you realise there's actually an island in Mexico uh, that has got haunted dolls in it? The whole island. We've got it all wrong. What? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And you know what? You know what? One of the uh, one of the videographers that I'm working with for. A single coming up in the in the springtime. He actually shot a movie in, in the Valley of the Dolls. No way! That, believe me, that's why I live here, bro. That stuff can stay right there. Believe me. Uh, even uh, and believe me, this is another place I wouldn't visit. Is the Clown Motel. <laughs> me neither. I don't know. Where's that place? Uh, it's in the United States, in the desert, and right across the road, literally, there's a graveyard. Whoa. You know, and, and it's a place where they, I think they used to get silver, I'm not sure about gold, uh, but they used to mine some product out of there, and, and the place just collapsed on top of all the miners and everything, everybody left. But the motel itself, the Clown Motel, still thrives today. One of the most ha haunted motels there is, in the world, um, no thanks. I don't want anything to do with. I mean, you can have clowns, and then you can have haunted clowns, and that's just no. Yeah, 
<laughs> I'm out of here. Crazy, easy, dude. Crazy. And, and you know, it's Christmas, and here we are talking about death. This is very metal. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? It is. Well, you know, that is so true. Even hard rockers are scared of something. Oh, look, you just have to... For me, long with blinky eyes. I haven't got my gloves uh -huh. on. Yeah, haven't got your gloves yeah. on. Uh, Barbara's feeling a little uh, uh, undressed. She hasn't got her... Uh, Special gloves on. So them, uh, I'm going to uh, just take over this wandy thing. Gosh. What? Are, would... you run, are you running a radio show and a video show at the same time then? I am right now. <laughs> I see, see that. Yeah. I uh, see that. Uh, I'm breaking male tradition. I'm multitasking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I heard the door close. Barbara just left. You're on your own for the next hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's she came back in actually. Um, she, oh, good. Uh, uh, she's got her she's got her gloves now. She's uh, now you're feeling dressed. Nice. Ah, 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 very, nice. Ah, very nice. Those are nice. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, I think she te I think she teases her husband with them. <laughs> Well, you know, I I, I kind of see Barbara as kind of like she's kind of like a goth chick. That's how I, I see her. Oh, totally. She's kind, of, she's kind of goth. Absolutely, believe me, my bro, you couldn't have had it on the head any better than maybe maybe steampunk. Yeah, yeah, steampunk. I could see her going there too, but it's yeah. But believe me, bro. It's witchy. She deserved the, the, the voodoo doll for her collection. Oh, right. abs yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I couldn't have found a better person to uh, adopt uh, my present, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, it <laughs> did actually come from uh, uh, out of uh, Louisiana, if you know what I mean, the home of all of this yeah. voodoo stuff. Yeah, it does. Uh, so, remember you telling me about that, yeah? And she uh, reads tarot cards. Uh, yeah, she reads tarot cards. She's a kind of a witchy kind of person, if you know what I mean. Uh, so, I've got to be honest with you, scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> and she sends a message. Really did. I mean, oh my God. I, I don't hate anybody, let alone hate them enough to want to um, put needles in a doll <laughs> and hope it works. You know what I mean? I hey, like, like if, if, if uh, you know, if you really need that, you know, to feel complete then then hey so be it you know what i mean like if there's that much revenge that you gotta get on a doll and stick things into it and i mean you can i honestly it's believe this prayer it's you know me i've been a spiritual guy i believe that you can think about somebody and you can send them energy so if i wanted to feel something bad for somebody i could do it i wouldn't even need a voodoo doll the voodoo doll maybe just makes it a bit stronger well i actually <laughs> tried something uh different rather than giving it you know the the big old pin thing i was yeah. throwing hundred dollar notes at it and well it, that didn't work either <laughs> <laughs> what the people didn't get rich i didn't <laughs> well not you well that's what gonna, are you, are you, are you, are you you gotta send me a voodoo doll of you, and I'll stick some money on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That might be a good idea, actually. Uh, guys, hang on in there. We better move on right now because we got a very, very busy day yes, happening. Yeah, so let's go out with JJ Zeph and the Pelicans. All I want to do, right here at Galaxy, way back in 1980. <laughs> 